Hi everyone, it's Simko Tovich here from Firefly Sci. Today I'm going to show you how to use our Type 49 demountable flow through cuvette. I'm going to show you how to assemble and run the cell so you don't have any leaks. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's our Type 49 and it comes with two pieces here. It comes with the um, plate with the inline outlet tube here. This is where you attach your tubing, which we're going to be doing in a minute. And it comes with the groove plate here. This is where you're going to put your sample. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do with this is put your tubing onto the connectors here. So it's just a matter of pushing them on past these little bulbs here. Then just gently push your tubing on and don't force it because you can break these connectors off not gentle with them and they should just let should just slide nicely on again I'm not using a crazy amount of pressure here just pushing it on gently and you want to you want to also hold it in the back so I have my finger back here giving extra support Okay, so the tubing is connected and now we're going to go ahead and assemble this. So we'll take our plate here and put this to the side. So the way I like to do this is the same as our Type 19 and Type 20 demountable cuvettes where I put a drop of sample on the bottom. And again, you do want to make sure that it is wet on these edges. Where these raised edges, you want to make sure that the sample gets on those edges because or else you're going to have leaks if it's not wet enough. Okay, and now I'm going to put the cover plate slip on. Starting at one end here. making sure that there's no air bubbles and just sliding it up and it's okay if some of the sample gets out but you really want to make sure that there's no air in there that's most important There we go, that's perfect. Now we're just going to put this in our cell mount and flow some sample through it. Okay, and now I'm going to put the cuvette into the cell mount here. It's important that you keep the two plates together. Let me slide this down. All right, there we go. I'm going to try to get a good angle so you can see the flow here. Now the sample is flowing through the cuvette. Okay, so I have sample running through the through the cuvette, and I just want to highlight that there is no leakage coming from any of the sides.
Now I'm going to reverse the flow and then flow the sample through again. Recently we've gotten some emails about people having leaking issues with the Type 49. And again, as long as you keep the sides wet around those edges, and this is the one that I just ran the test with and you can see it's completely dry. There's no leaking whatsoever going on. Uh, another test that I'm going to run is I'm going to put it in this water here. And if we have any leaks, you should be able to see air bubbles. Whoops. If I can manage to get it in there, that'd be great. All right, well, then we'll do. So I'm gonna put it up to a high pressure pump and see what happens now. I just wanted to make one note about removing the tubing from the connectors here and you want to pull it off one side of the tube at a time rather than pulling it straight off because you could snap this completely off. If you pull like directly out like this, you're going to break this here. So you pull off one piece one side at a time and it'll come off really easily. Thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions about the Type 49, Please send us an email to info, I-N-F-O, at fireflysci.com. The email will be on the bottom right here. Don't forget to hit us with a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.